to transfer data from your old phone, either old iPhone, old Android, old Samsung, to your new S24 Ultra. If your S24 Ultra has already been set up, you see the home screen. The first step is going to be slightly different for those who have not set up their phone yet. So I will have chapters down below. If your phone has already been set up, then let's start by going into the Play Store. We are then going to search for Smart Switch. And you want to get the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app. This is made by the same company that has made your phone. We're going to open the Smart Switch app and you will want to tap on the Receive Data button. And when we see here, select a source, check the chapters. There'll be a chapter to where you can continue from. If your phone has not been set up, we're going to go through the setup process until we see this screen. Easy setup with another device. This feature only supports some older Androids. It does not support iPhone. But if you have iPhone or an unsupported Android, this easy setup only transfers the Wi-Fi and your Google accounts from your old phone to your new phone. The actual data transfer is gonna work on all devices. You won't see the screen if you've already set up your phone as well. So if we have a supported Android, we'll tap the setup button. If you have iPhone or iPad, it will just tell you to set up manually. If you don't see the screen, tap set up manually and manually connect to the Wi-Fi, manually input your Google password until we see the actual data transfer screen. And it should look like this the copy apps and data screen. From here, we're gonna tap on next. You're going to see use your other device. We'll tap on next again. We see get started with smart switch. We're going to tap on next. We're going to allow the permissions. And now we see a selector source. Regardless if your phone was already set up or not, we should now see a similar screen. So you either select Galaxy slash Android, so your old Android phone, or iPhone slash iPad for your iPhone. So I'll cover both together. If we tap Galaxy slash Android, you have the ability to connect both phones together wirelessly, which is the best, or through the cable. With iPhone, you have to connect through the cable. So connecting through the cable, what we need to do is we see the S24 Ultra box. On the other side, so on the other side, there is a Samsung leaflet. And in this leaflet should be a cable right here. This cable allows you to connect your S24 Ultra to some old Android phones. This does not allow you to connect to your iPhone. You would need to get your charging cable for your iPhone. You may uh, run into a problem where you can connect one phone just fine, like my iPhone, and I can't connect the other side to my S24 Ultra. The same issue may apply if you have an older Android. The solution is you will need to buy an adapter which converts USB type A and you connect to the adapter and it converts it into USB type C. And once this is done, we can safely connect both devices together. If you connect both devices and you're using an iPhone, you will need to tap the trust button, enter in your passcode, and you'll need to trust the connection. The trust message only appears when your iPhone is on the home screen. 
and then it will search for data to transfer. No software is needed on the iPhone side for the S24 Ultra to read the data. This is slightly different if you have an old Android. On your old Android, you also need to get the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. And if you have the option to update, update to the latest version. Then when we tap on Galaxy slash Android, I recommend you use wireless if it works for you. You should have a message on your old Android pop up asking you to transfer the data. So I'm currently not getting this message, so I'll wait patiently. If the message doesn't show up still, open the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile on your old phone. Agree to all of the permissions and tap the send data button. It's saying my phone needs to be charged, so I'm going to charge right now. Now our old phone is at the required battery level on our S24 Ultra. We'll just go into the Android, wireless, and when we see get connected on our old phone, we're going to tap the send data option, and then we'll tap wireless, and it's going to make a really annoying hissing noise but it should connect both phones together. So we'll tap connect to connect like that. Sometimes there'll be a prompt which says open the smart switch app. If you could not connect wirelessly, make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network. Of course, iPhones can't connect wirelessly. And if that still doesn't work, connect your S24 Ultra to your old phone with the cable and instead of selecting wireless, select the cable. Regardless of the model or phone or how you connected on your S24 Ultra, we now see select data to transfer. We have here everything which will transfer as much as possible. Do note transferring data from your iPhone is limited from old Android the phone will virtually look the same if it's a Samsung. If it's not a Samsung, you may be missing some uh, settings and things that uh, you will have to set up again. You have just calls, accounts, contacts, messages here. And in custom, if we tap next for custom, we can swipe up and down to see what we can transfer. So for this presentation, I'm not going to transfer everything. You can see I've transferred images, messages, calls, and accounts, and we'll tap transfer when we're ready. If you have an old Android and you can transfer accounts, you just tap the copy button and you enter your fingerprint to move the accounts over. Transferring from an iPhone, you will have to manually sign in to your accounts again. We can see the accounts are added, so we'll tap on next. And Google services, you swipe to the bottom and accept like this. Now in the backgrounds, your old phone is moving data to your new phone. So you just follow the setup as you want to. You can see it already says all done. So we just set up the phone like we would normally, and we see you're all set up. If you go through the setup process and the data transfer hasn't finished, there'll be a progress bar. You just need to patiently wait for that to complete. Also, if you're transferring WhatsApp, there'll be on-screen instructions on how to move the WhatsApp chats, and that works from both old iPhone, old Android, uh, the smart switch can't do it directly. You need to use the app and you need to scan the QR code. And it's very simple to do. And there are on-screen instructions when you do the transfer. So if we go to the messages app, and we'll just go through here, you can see that it has transferred all my messages from my old phone. So if I go to the messages app, 
you're going to see boom all the old messages have moved over and also the images here they've moved over as well everything that you ticked will have moved over from your old phone and that's how to do the transfer